humanity. I'm sorry. I apologize. Forgive us. It is said, nature never needed man. But, but man always needed nature. nature. Just like your House of Parliament. <laughs> Very witty. It was butchered. That's a little harsh. The main issue isn't eating fish per se, but it's the greenhouse gases that is produced when raising cattle. That is destroying our earth. You're right. They produce up to 18% of greenhouse gases, more than the entire human transportation sector. And worst of all, Methane is the most important factor leading to global warming. It can absorb a hundred times more heat than carbon dioxide. This is a conspiracy. <laughs> and of mankind. Armageddon. We are going to Mars. Oh, I'm no longer hungry. Unfortunately, Australia is conflicted. However, you see, this is a problem with the human race. We know facts have always been there, but we choose to ignore them due to our selfishness. It's suicide. Time to make a change. high-protein plant-based options. There's a lot of food that contain high-protein content, such as egg, soybean, spinach, and cauliflower. Vegetable proteins are healthier too. Great, it is a long-term plan, but we need a short-term fix. This is why I'm here, for your cell phone policy. Australian scientists figured out that if the cows pursue a set amount of grape promise, this could decrease the methane they produce by 20%. Yes, so working with the Australian wine industry could help save our planet. Let's announce it to the world. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and fellow scientists, we have some exciting news to announce. Yes, we are so proud to announce the promising short long-term solution to reduce emission. The Australian wine industry is the answer to reducing methane. It was literally down under. No pun intended. None taken. Short term, it's easy. In order to make cows grow faster and save more money, enterprises use unhealthy food, leading to more emissions of methane. Hence, by feeding them fermented grapes, methane can be reduced by 20%. This is simply genius. The great pomace, rich in condensed tannins, contains enzymes that help reduce the methane production in cows during the digestion process. Long term, move away from meat. Eat more high protein plant based food, which Taiwan are experts in. And with our softball policy, I think it's a match made in heaven. Taiwan's softball policy 
has created opportunities and partnerships that has never been imagined before. We are so excited! Humanity, we did it! Mars, we'll have to wait. Armageddon, no more. To humanity, thank, thank you! you. If you turn your head, you might kill them. Wait! I know the structure on top of your head. You're Bodhisattva. But why do you look so tense? Yes, I do. I reincarnated as Dashi to make sure all the ghosts are following rules on this meteor festival day. So what will happen if the flames go out? Oh, oh the spirits will hover around you. Meteor Festival. Yeah, it's also known as Ghost Festival. You see? No wonder why I got a strange feeling over my shoulder. Hey! We've got a similar festival too, called Pita Kong. I didn't know. So, so you, you guys, guys do celebrate Ghost, Ghost Festival? Festival? We do. We sing and dance to welcome Prince Vedanor from March and June. My people always sing and dance have to be on that day. Tell me more about it! Sure! This is Prince Vezendor from Thailand. We celebrate Pichai Kong Festival to welcome him back every year. This is Da Siye from Taiwan. And Da Siye's duty is to patrol around during the ghost month. How dare you! Excuse me, I'm Lisa from Thailand. I'm here to promote tourism in Thailand, such as Pichai Kong Festival. I'm David, and I'm the representative of the Tourism Bureau. Let's go somewhere else for a discussion. Sure, my pleasure. Woo. Hey, can you do me a favor? Help me patrol that side. No problem. Hey, Lisa, can you tell me more about Pichai Kong? This is the map. With that, you mean this? Absolutely. You should be more open-minded. I think it's a great idea. I like the patterns you've got in Taiwan. I don't agree with their ideas. What I am thinking is that we can have a combination. <laughs> Maybe we should hear them out before we jump into conclusion. No way! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Taiwan Thailand Mask Festival. We wear masks that are painted in different colors to celebrate Pichai Kong Festival and Prince Vedanor. And here is a traditional face painting from Taiwan. And this, this is our collaboration. We incorporated Ba Jia Jiang elements in our mask and we're calling this product line Thai, Thai temple culture. And we adopted some features from Thai's masks, such as a big nose, huge mouth, and greeny teeth. Thanks to the Thailand Economic Culture Office in Taipei and the new cell phone policy. Due to them, we had opportunity to cooperate with Taiwan. Yeah, without further ado, let's have our parade begin. Oh, 
fashion.
I wonder if she'll be interested in being the manager. Me? I'd love to, but I'm not sure whether I can be competent at the job. No worries. I have faith in you. Really? Then I'll take the challenge. Sunny. This is there for you from Mia's elder sister. Mia's elder sister? Oh, I told her of her situation. No wonder. It's a long letter in Chinese. Chinese? What did she write? She thanked me for my kindness to Mia. And she knew the closure of the bookshop made me frustrated. She tried to cheer me up. Ah, so sweet. Also, she has been studying Chinese for many years. And she volunteers to translate my diary into Indonesian to help their people know more about migrant workers in life in Taiwan. Wonderful. And I volunteer to be the publisher of Chinese and Indonesian versions. Mm, that's a great idea. A bookshop of hope. Capcun, Dalimagashi. Xie Thank you. What a beautiful morning. I love jogging. Dad, come on! I'm coming. Two kilometers to go. Uh, I can't wait to go home and have lunch. Aha, you're all right. Your mom is waiting. Keep up, my son. You are too slow. Okay, Dad. What's wrong? I don't feel quite... My son! Oh no! What happened? Help! Help! Somebody helps us! It's a rare case. Indeed. I haven't seen something like that in my entire career. Doctor, please tell my son. I'm sorry, sir. Well, there is nothing we can do right now. The boy needs a heart transplant. Yes, due to the birth defect, his heart is losing its function. Oh, OK. Heart transplant. Why not do it right now? I'm afraid that we are unable to carry on the operation. A heart transplant is not a heart first. I conducted two last month, but... This kid's case is special, and he is too weak to undergo this surgery. I'm willing to take the risk. I'm sorry, sir. Wait, wait. I know a doctor who can save this boy. Who? Dr. Wong from Taiwan, one of the best cardiologists in Asia. Let me call her. Dr. Wong, this is Wing, your old Vietnamese friend. Hey, Wing. How's everything? Well, I got a problem. Tell me about it. We have a boy here who needs a heart transplant. I see. The surgery won't be easy. It will cost a lot. We can afford it. The transplant surgery can only be done in Taiwan. But during the COVID-19 pandemic, it's a difficult task to bring a patient here. Oh, can't you do something? No problem. I'll try my best to bring the boy to Taiwan. Our government must be willing to help. See you then. Thank you so much. Perfect. Now, I need to prepare some necessary documents and uh, everything else. Dr. Wong, we sign here. And you look worried. What's bothering you? There is a special patient, a 12-year-old boy from Vietnam. Why is he so special? He is special not only because he suffers from a rare heart disease, but because he's from Vietnam, our friendly neighbor. Can they do a surgery in Vietnam? Yes, they can. 
However, they seem to lack experience. Taiwan, on the other hand, is in the leading position of the field. Therefore, it's our responsibility to help them. I understand. I totally agree with you. All right, guys, let's do this. We'll show the world that Taiwan can help. Yes, man. God, please help my son. Mr. Lee. Oh, my boy. Dad, I'm thirsty. May I have some water? Thank God, you're okay. You look well. Thank you, Dr. Long. Am I able to talk again? Of course, young man. I could never thank you enough for saving my son's life, Dr. Wong. No worries. I'm glad to help. Yes, and thanks to the new southbound policy, we could successfully get to Taiwan. That's right. And that's why we say Taiwan can help. Thank you. We are so glad that our class has three exchange students who come from Thailand, India, and Philippines. Hi. They are going to introduce their special costumes to us. Now, let's welcome our first student, Ling, who comes from Thailand. Let me introduce myself first. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. I come from Thailand. Today, I'm going to introduce the traditional festival of Songa to you. Songan is a Thai New Year's national holiday. The festival has been 13 and 15 April in Thailand, and it is also celebrated in Laos, Cambodia, and Myanmar. Songan is often referred to as the biggest water fight in the world. <laughs> From across Thailand, large crowds of people taking part in festivities. The holiday was traditionally marked by the family members. Hey guys. Hi. I'm honored to stand on this stage to give a speech of our traditional festival. Diwali is, is India's most popular and one of the most important festivals. Diwali is a festival of all the grand celebration in order to resist the force of evil and bring peace and harmony of life of the people. It is a worship of goddess, Lakshmi, god of wealth. Diwali is a Hindu festival, a symbol of good over evil. Don't touch me. Ah. This festival is celebrated Duxila, another major Hindu festival for 20 days. In the goddess is worship on these days. Wealth and prosperity of Diwali. People did their house and free lights with light and earth to immunize the night. People wear new clothes and distribute sweet among friends and family. The celebration lasts five days, so that people can fully enjoy the day. Every year, people eagerly await the overall, the festival of lights, to celebrate with great enjoyment and the food from the fans. Thanks to Basani. Now let's welcome our last students. 
a student who comes from Philippines. Hello, my name is Axi. I'm introducing the Mascara Festival in the Philippines. The Mascara Festival of Baco City is one of the biggest festivals in the Philippines. Why is or not, the festival has been giving local and international visitors the chance to have fun, drink, and party on the streets of Baco for over 30 years now. Because of the because of the smelling fest of mask. Baco City got the nickname of the of the city of smells. The most part of the yearly mascara festivals is the dance competition. Let now let's dance. Okay, thanks. This part of the festival is something that everyone would, would not want to miss the festival. Thanks. Thanks to all the students. Now, have you known more about the special custom in Eastern Southeast country? Yes. yes. Okay, let's the pass over. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, everyone. So, did you hear Willie got a call last night? Did he? Is that strange? Hmm, not usually, but this one was different. He got a call from the president. Hello? Madam President! Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, 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 ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. What am I going to do? Interesting. And? And then he had a dream. Wait. 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 Who's there? What do you want? The world is changing, Wooly. We have to adapt, Wooly. You're going to do something big, Wooly! What? Uh, is he okay? Well, he was a little stressed. What do you mean, was? Luckily, I called him. Hello? Hi, Wooly! Amy! We need to talk. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay. Can you get the team together? Okay. Uh, so, we'll find out tomorrow? I guess so. Let's get some rest. Yes, we're going to need it. Coming. Hey, you're new, right? Have we met before? Uh, <laughs> Sawadika, my name is Emily. I'm Thai. I'm part of the new Southbound Policies Talent Development Program. Fantastic! Welcome! I got a call from the president last night. Whoa! Whoa. She said she got a call from a health department director general from Thailand. Oh, the DG. That's good, right? Thailand is our new Southbound partner. It's about burning Joe's money, especially over the Chinese New Year. They burn paper in Thailand? Don't be dirty. Dirty? Ditty. Ditty? Rap ditty. CNY is not recognized, but you can see it burning everywhere in the city. The DG wants us to change the tradition? No, it's interreligion and respects tradition, but it makes solution like difficulty breathing, head AC thing, eyes. Burning cancer looming. I, I have to live it booming. Aha! I've got it! What's he got? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Do you know? Huh? Get you. Whoa! You realized that this is a tradition that has gone on for centuries. And you will never get temples to agree to this. Burning just paper is an important part of paying respect to the gods. That's a big ask. You can't just change cultural rituals. Maybe we should be looking at what culture is not. It's not about right or wrong. It's about perception. 
And perceptions have exceptions. It's not about individual behavior. We need the movement to be our savior. Mm. It's not innate. It's socialized attitudes. And attitudes of attitudes, they can change. This change, self change. What do you propose? I think I hit it on the nose. Take this to heart, me hearties. We gonna throw a party. Produce. A fan is turned on and voila! Ah, I see we have a question. Uh, no, it's much less harmful, especially because it contains none of the carcinogens that Joss paper has. We're just introducing a new eco-friendly alternative and hopefully starting a revolution. As well as strengthening the partnership between Thailand and Taiwan, improving the quality of life for everyone. Happy New Year! Say you want a revolution Well, you know We all want to change the world Thank you! You can call it. I made by me and my classmates. Can you tell us about the method of making pearls in the bubble tea? A while ago, bubble tea had made a big wave around the world. I think that a lot of girls will be very interested in. If you want to make pearls, you need brown sugar, boiled water, and sweet potato powder. Add brown sugar into the boiled Whoa. water. Then. Pour it into the sweet potato powder and stir. Finally, knead it into one piece. How can I make it like this one? First, you need to prepare a pile of boiled water. Then, pour off the pearls into water and stir. Turn off the heat and wait for 30 minutes. After that, dun 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 I have pearls. I have milk tea, hey, bubble tea, yeah! Uh, that's Christmas detailed introduction. The audience who is in front of the phone can try to make bubble tea by yourselves. Oh, let me share an interesting social phenomenon with all of you. We had a special bubble tea and fried chicken colors fever. Oh, that's cool, but I don't really get it. People on the internet like to make a bet on some topics. Most people will give away oh. sets of bubble tea and fried chicken cutlets oh. if they don't win the bet. Like this one. Cool. How about this? 
This is a Hakka Nile cake. You can try it. It tastes salt. It looks like snap in my whole town. Is this Malaysia's Nong Yang Nile cake? Yes. How do you know? I went to Malaysia before and tasted it. Nile Nong Yang Cake. Nong Yang Cake are cakes which are for undulating transgression of ethnic groups with immense brown variations. They have four many different styles, so they are many types. It sounds great. My favorite is our kid glutinous rice cream. Because of COVID-19, I hey. haven't returned to Malaysia for a long time. I hope that I can return to Malaysia as soon as possible when the epidemic is over and eat my favorite orchid glutinous rice cream. Hey, what's up? Hi. He is my best friend I met during the cooking class. And he came to set up a store with me today. Hello, my name is Jimmy, and I'm from Australia. Would you like to eat the Australian food I made? This is a traditional Australian dessert, lemon cake. Try it. It's really tasty. Why is this little cake called Lamington? Oh, this is a very interesting story. In 1896, a chef from Australia accidentally dropped the cake into the chocolate sauce. The chef was afraid that the chocolate sauce would stain the owner's hands. So he sprinkled coconut flour. It tastes very special. Many people like it a lot, so that's why it becomes popular. The governor's name was Lemington, right? Bingo! Wow, interesting! That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, press the like button. If you want to see any specific topics, leave a comment down below. Remember to subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Bye! Bye. A theater in Bangkok, Thailand. Good evening to everyone here tonight. It is our honor to introduce to you our latest motion picture. Yes, our team feels privileged for having this opportunity to show you our most recent adventure into the world of superheroes. That's right, two of our heroes are coming from New Zealand. And take the queen for Singapore. As well as citizens Catherine from Taiwan and Serena from Thailand have all joined forces once again to help those who sing the South Small Policy family. Working with Thai in one landmark South Small Policy of 2016, our film aims to show how four young friends solve a present day global issue. To bring our positive change to the 18 nations supporting the South Small Policy. So please sit back, grab a handful of popcorn, and enjoy our most recent superhero action week. 18 is more than just a number. Because even though we are only 18 years of age, we can still offer our help to the 18 countries within the South Bank policy. water falling from your eyes. What could have possibly cause all these tears? Oh my goodness, it's, it's Aquaman. Thank food that you're here. Aquaman, my herbal crops is dying out because of climate change. The sun and heat are just too much here in Thailand. Oh, I see, young lady. What's your name? I'm Serena, a struggling farmer near Chiang Mai. Well, Serena, Taiwan of Taiwan had me develop a safe and clean water source for the southbound countries that are suffering as you are. My friends and I in New Zealand have created a great system for harnessing water and its power for use around the planet. Oh, Aquaman, you're so dreamy. Meanwhile, in Singapore. As we saw, my farmer friend Serena in Thailand has lost her medicinal crops to massive heat waves caused by climate change. Yes, I recall. Ah, my superhero friend and I have been discovered on new technological methods for turning back climate change.
Chase. That's awesome news, TQ, because our hospitals in Taiwan rely on these herbs to cure viruses such as COVID-19. Without those crops, we cannot help our fellow southbound policy countries fight many dangerous diseases. Yes, Catherine, this latest high-tech advancement here is capable of harvesting rain clouds and directing them to countries in need of fresh water for agriculture, as well as for drinking. Okay, La Techno Queen, let's use your superhero transport powers to take us to see our friend Serena and Aquaman in Thailand to tell us about your breakthrough invention. All right, B, then off we go. Hey, Tigger hey, and Catherine! So great to see both of you. Can you help Serena overcome this dilemma she's having over climate change? Yes, I really need my herbal crops to mature so they can be shared with the medical communities of the South Bomb Policy. Sure, we can help! <laughs> you go, Tigger! Yeah, you go, go, Catherine! No, you can't go, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, enough! Somebody tell us! Um, okay. Let it get you right here. Can help you immensely. I can explain it all to you later. Yes, it's going to help change the planet. Super news, you do. It appears that with Aquaman's ability to harness water power and Techno Queen's new rain producing gadget, we will be able to help farmers both within the southbound countries and others around the world safe of climate change to ensure that crops don't die out. Yes, it's a relief knowing that Serena's medicinal crops can be saved, as well as the many lives that could have died without them. Okay, like guys, another awesome job done by four young friends who have worked together to solve another issue here on planet Earth. You better, Serena. We sure to work well as a team. Well, as we have always said, when good friends work hard together, there's, there's nothing, nothing we, we can't can accomplish. To have no business in the southbound policy. Thank, Thank you for watching our movie. The oxygen in our laboratory will run in the week, and the food will too. And we have no idea what's going outside. Hey, I'll take a look. I can't see any human through this telescope. The sky is gray and doesn't look good. Since we don't have much time left, shall we try again and at least we might get up here? They're all right. I started my baby Katie's crop, but I still get the cold virus. Not to mention quite an all. Please, we need your help. I found out a virus is similar to a bendy virus 10 years ago. We might want to study any possible bendy antidotes. Maybe then we can find a solution to this terrible virus. I remember, there is some information we could use. A guy, Hugo. Oh yeah, I have an idea now. I am positive. I have found a solution. Really? Are you sure? You said there was and you blew out all the theory. Remember? No, no, no. Not this time. Trust me. I promise this. It won't explode. I see. No matter what, we better try. So, what should we do? Lemon juice. Lemon, Lemon juice? juice? I found the antidote! Yeah, that's her! But Danny, we really did it! We have found the antidote! Really? Although we are successfully met at the zone, we still have no clue about what happened to the outside world. It has been a month since biochemical explosion happened. We need to find a way out. We must do think of something. Right. We are luckily we have not been affected because of the protective shield. However, we still need to discover how to help others. Otherwise, we will all be stuck here forever. I have sent him drones to detect the situation outside, but so far, there has been no information sent back. I will send the detective truck to gather more information. All right, since we will be tricky, if we don't hurry and find a way out. I think we need to create a suit so to protect ourselves. We got to get the antidote out to the rest of the world. No worry, I developed a mask which can protect the whole body. The whole body? But the mask only covers the mouth and nose. How can it protect the whole body from the virus? This is a mask. They use it holographic no, no, projection technology. As long as the mask is wrong, the whole body will 
will be protecting. It's invisible to a naked eye. Really? Can I try it? Yes. Holography, projection, technology. Wow! It feels like something is covering my body. But does it really work? Yes, of course. Really? Wow! But here's only one. How can it be enough for all of us? I can make three more. Three, three more? more? Yeah. Hey guys, the drive has single now. It's the same deck of the data of the air quality. The level of a virus and the oxygen content outside. The results show less is only required level 3 protective coating. As soon as we are able to scan a sample for mix, I can mass produce the husband suit. You can use a battery and lamp to mass produce the husband suit. Oh yeah, if it works, Taiwan will not only sell ourselves, but also the whole world. The situation abroad hasn't gotten any better. Shall we send some surprise to support it? Of course, we have enormous, mess, so we will desperately love to help. Our antidote is made, being mass produced. Our government has been promoting the new South World policy. This is a good opportunity to help them. Promoting mutual friendship, development, and interactions. Activation mutual good and interaction and cooperation relationship. That's right. A friendly is a friendly. This is irrelevant to any party or parties, but they have all human beings. All medicine is expensive to produce. But they represent our blessing of the world. It's a win-win situation. We hope to promote our economies. Because of the mass and the antidote, each country will up a bridge and you will be more communal in the future life. Ha ha ha. Thank you for helping. We are really glad this worked. The most famous temple in Yunlin, it's Beigang Chaotian Temple. Wow, this is my first time to see this kind of building. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. The goddess we worship in this temple is Matu. Matu. And Matu's birthday is on March 23rd of Chinese lunar calendar. Wow. And on that day, there will be an activity called Yi Ge. Yi Ge? What is it? It's a big truck parade. Oh. Big truck? Oh, no, no, truck! Oh, truck! Many children were wearing costumes on the decorated trucks. Oh! And the... Uh, doing candies, Whoa, candies and cookies to the audience when the candies. truck was driving around the temple. Wow, it is so cool! Oh, here is a photo I showed Eager last time. Wow, she looks so happy! I really want to take a look at it! If you can come to Taiwan in about March or April, I think we can join this feast together. Oh, I'm very looking forward to it. Okay, let me take you to the Beigang Austrian next. Oh, let's go. Delicious. And this is Tumbo Nasi Guni. Look, 
guys, it's yellow because I cook it with ginger, coconut milk, and other seasons. Wow, it's really special. It's totally different from Taiwanese mess. Isn't I tell you delicious? Yes, this is my first time to eat this. Let me take you to eat something else. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have attention please? Passengers on airline flight CX315, please proceed to gate D9. Thank you. Here you can make your own things with Haka Blue Dye. Two hundred dollars to make a handkerchief. Eight hundred dollars to make clothes. Do you want to try beautiful girls? No way! Let dye will stain my beautiful hands. No, 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 no. It won't. This kind of dye is made from natural plants. The clothes you make will be really special, and everyone's clothes are different. It's the best souvenir here. You don't look like your Haka. How can you sell our unique Haka cultural products? Hey, 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 what are you talking about? Uh, I come from India and I got married in Taiwan and my husband is Haka. I learned it out of blue tie from him. So what? Even though sorry, you got married in Taiwan to a Haka man, you don't have the right to sell our Haka cultural products. I'm sorry for my 
my mistake last time. I'll make it up to you. Never mind. That's okay. This is my brother, and he is good at designing websites. Hi, I'm Austin. Gora wants me to design website in order to spread the Hakka culture around the world. And I can help you put the Hakka cultural products on the website. Okay, how about me say the Hakka and Indian cultures together? Nice one. We can put Hakka patterns on Indian stories, and then be a new bicultural product. You're right. You can count on me. I can design a website well. Let's make Hakka cultural products together. Go! Okay, before we start this project, I need everyone's help. First, Waba, can you bring some dye for me? I need about three liters. Okay, I'll see. Can you design a Hakka pattern? Okay. Okay, Guava, can you put this cloth into water? Okay, and then put a cloth into a dye for two or three minutes and repeat three times. One, two, three, wow! Let me take photos of it and put it on the website. I hope this can be successful!
Cassandra, is there a way for Carl to come to Taiwan for a health check? Hospitals here in Taiwan are really good. Hmm, interesting. I think there's a policy between Taiwan and the Philippines. I believe it's under the South Bomb policy. You should look into it. Oh, great. Thanks, Dr. Sandra. You're awesome. No biggie. I hope it helps. program the cell phone policy. It's called the One Country, One Center. One Country, One Center? What's that? Let me take a look. It says under the policy, people from India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam can come to Taiwan for surgeries. So that means Carlos can, can come, come to, to Taiwan. Taiwan. I can't wait to see him. Ready to hear both. The bad news is you do have a brain tumor. However, the good news is we're gonna do our best to help you and remove the brain tumor for you. Don't worry, Carlos. Taiwan has the best doctors and medical services, and I'm also going to be here with you as well. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Then we'll see you after the surgery. Hi guys, what's up to all you out of here? Carlos, I miss you so much! I really appreciate what you guys have done for me. Without you all, I would never have been able to receive the surgery that I needed, which is why I have decided to become a doctor as well. Dude, I'm so proud of you! On that note, through the policy, I was able to come to Taiwan to study and advance my medical skills in City Hospital in Hualien. The future of our international collaboration looks promising. Whether you are rich or poor, people shouldn't be denied with basic medical treatment. As a country with advanced medical skills, equipment, and facilities, we are proud to say, Taiwan, Taiwan can, can help. help. Thank, Thank you. you. Gentlemen, everyone, now we are a long party of sugar cane shops. The home is party with people. Hi, why are you interested in sugar cane shop? Because I think sugar cane shops are eco-friendly and that they help to protect our environment. Yes, it's an alternative to plastic straw. Now, we are going to meet Miss Winnie Wu. She is the marketing manager of sugar cane shop. Hello, Miss Wu. Could you tell us how you came up with the idea of promoting sugar cane shop to the public? It's an interesting story. It all started two years ago when I was a college student. Two years ago, I taught at ABC University. Plastic straws. I don't know how to recycle them. Plastic straws are everywhere we go, and most of them are not recyclable.
cleanup of the case into something more valuable and environmentally friendly. I'm interested in your idea. My major is marketing, but I'm also very concerned for environmental protection. Can I introduce you some of my friends? Maybe we can create something great together. Sure, I can't wait to meet them. After a few months of research and study, Winnie and Vanessa have decided to work with a technology company in Taiwan to turn sugar cane baguettes into a 100% plant-based drugs. Now, they are visiting a sugar cane farm in India. She should be here soon. Showing such an interesting story with us. Finally, I must offer my heartfelt thanks to New South Bank Policy. Without your help, we couldn't find a perfect source of sugar cane for gas in India. Now we are able to export our eco-friendly compostable straw worldwide. Yes, sugar cane really helps to reduce environmental impact and prevent unnecessary landfill waste. Most importantly, both India and Taiwan benefited from a win-win situation. That's all for today's report. Thank you. Thank you. Winnie, this is 
our friend. Her name is Suan Wang. She's a... I know who she is. She's a bear presenting dragon. I'm not a dragon. I'm a Formosa bear. You are a dragon. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Thanks, Alcalini. We brought you here to help us test out Wang's new invention. Guys, how many times have I told you not to be friends with the bears? Don't you know we dragons get really angry when they see other animals with the bears? Great! Get angry! Without fire! I'm getting angry seeing you guys together! I'm so angry! I'm gonna... No, no! Oh, no! My invention! Oh, invention? Stop it, dragon fire! What nonsense! Dragons are the only animal that can make fire. Are you suggesting that we dragons will set the forest aflame? Kinda, Lily. Stop wasting your time with these bears! Come on, let's go for a ride around the forest. I'm sorry, Wan Wan. Maybe this was a stupid idea after all. Yeah, I'm sorry, Wan Wan, but I really love flying. It's okay. You guys can go. I will keep working on these. Wan Wan! Wan Wan! I'm over here. The forest! The forest! The, the forest, forest is on fire! fire. Until we left you the other day, we went for Winnie the Dragon for a ride. On the way home, Winnie was hungry, so she caught a bat and ate it. After that, she started coughing and coughing. <coughs> Next thing you know, she started coughing on fire, non-stop. Now, the fire is spreading to other parts of the forest. Oh, no. Quick, you must help us. But the extinguisher is not ready. How about the caves? It's getting very hard to breathe. There are just a few. Hurry, put them on. Go back quickly so you can help other animals. Okay, let's go, Nini. Thousand confirmed cases have been reported worldwide, and the global death toll has topped 900. Peter is a strange student who comes to Thailand. People representative from foreign countries need to self quarantine for 14 days. For 14 days, Peter returns to school and walk into the class. Hey, who is he? Mm, he seems to a strange student from Thailand. Uh, really? Is he? I'm so scared. I think that I will met first. I didn't hold is any virus on his body. Uh, I agree with you. You'd better stay away from him then. Am I really horrible? I was finished the self quarantine for 14 days. Now I can go to school to study, couldn't I? Hey, I think that we should have interview for the exchange students. If you are the boy, you will feel helpless or not. Did you think it's funny, right? It sounded funny. Hey guys, I need to introduce a new friend for everyone. We have an exchange student in our class, and we need to take good care of him. We will do whatever we can make you feel at home. We could take precautions to prevent infection, such as washing hands regularly and avoiding touching eyes, nose, or mouth. Last but not less to wear 
a mess. So let's hear it go. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are so nice. Never mind, I feel better now, but the epidemic show not sight of abating my hometown. How and when is this nightmare like to end? I have an idea. Here in Bangkok, this factory is so spacious. So what they call? It? Welcome to the Moonlight Dessert Factory, Dora. I'm Annie, the marketing manager here. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, congratulations again on your winning first place in the commercial competition. No, 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 no. It's my pleasure to be here. This is the production department. Here is where we make all kinds of desserts. You name it, we have it. No time, no see any. How have you been, Sam? Oh, Tina, you've also come with your grandpa. What brings you here? Well, you know, as the protest continues, we can't sell any fruit. Yeah, it's also very inconvenient for me. Uh -oh, the protest? Oh, by the way, this is the champion of the Taiwanese commercial competition that I've told you before. My name is Dora. Dora, meet Sam and Tina. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry to interrupt you all. I'm just very curious about things you say. Would you mind my asking? Of course not. As I know, there has been a protest held by some college students who are fighting for the equality of gender. However, the protest has seriously affected the business in the area. Some storekeepers here might go bankrupt. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, since you are already here, why not join us to look around the factory later? Oh, Dora, you definitely don't know that. The feature about Thailand's desserts is that they are rich. And we often use coconut milk and shredded coconut to increase flavor. Some desserts are even added with salt 
to create a conflict of taste. Fruits are also a key to making dessert. Take mangosteen, the queen of the fruit, for example. Mangosteen trees have to grow about five years before they can be picked. Grandpa, wow, what are these? These look like small bakery. And that one over there is a mini office. So lovely. Those are the display rooms for our new project. We're planning to rent studios at a very low price to young people so that they can have a place to show their ability. As a teenager, I think this idea is attractive. Ah, I've got an idea. If there are lots of abandoned fruit in your store, why don't process them into something like, yeah, fruit cakes? <gasps> and then we sell them on the internet. But we don't know how to make cakes. I'm actually good at baking. In fact, my grandparents in my hometown are earning a living by making pineapple cakes. And it has been a family business for generations. That's a good idea. My granddaughter is majoring at computer graphics. Graphics. Maybe she can help. Grandpa, you know I'm also good at design. While Dora is still talking about pineapple cakes, there are lots of ideas buzzing inside my brain. Boom! First, we mix butter, egg, flour, and sugar together in a big bowl. Second, boil all the fruits we picked with sugar until they become thick liquid. Then, put the stuffing inside the divided bowl. Last but not least, bake it about 20 minutes. Here are the cakes. Let's try some. Well, Dora, oh this... Oh my god, Dora! The mangosteen cake you made are so awesome. I'm really happy to know I like them. I was worried about whether my baking skill is not as good as it used to be. That's not the case. I posted the cake on Facebook, and many of my friends commented that they want to give it a try. I bet this product will be a big success. There will be lots of customers as soon as the website is set up. Then what are we waiting for? Let's start a business. If I didn't come to Thailand, I wouldn't have found my life goal and make friends with these Thai people. I couldn't imagine how my life would be without them. A good friend is like a four-leaf clover, hard to find and lucky to have. Success grows out of struggles to overcome difficulties. It's terrific that my friends can realize their dream. Friendship is faith, and our encounter in Thailand is destiny. I'm so proud of the three youngsters. Their vitality and creativity are the hope of our future. Linking takes a friendship by going south. Thank you.